All right, people, welcome back. More card reviews. So today we're looking at an interesting card, kind of a trolley ass card. And I'm kind of trying to figure out who the hell is this card for, you know? This is Pandora's Treasure Box. It is a Dark Worm Pendulum effect monster, level four, Pendulum Scale of four. Pendulum Scale of four is kind of shitty. Like, you know, in this game of Yu-Gi-Oh, we love us some level four. So if your Pendulum Scale is four, how am I going to Pendulum summon some level fours when your Scale is four? Like, okay. 1500 attack, 1500 effects. The pendulum effect reads, if you have no cards in your extra deck, nigga, like, when I playing Monarchs, like, <laughs> you can target one card in your opponent's pendulum zone, destroy it, and if you do, place this card from your pendulum zone to your opponent's pendulum zone. That's pretty good, that's pretty good. The problem is, no cards in my extra, like, what am I playing? Like, this is this a side card for Monarchs, I guess? It's like, hey, you know, I'm playing Domain Monarchs. Um, you know, I'm tired of getting jumped and beat the shit out of by, you know, like, Draco Pals or something. So, let me go ahead and just uh, crack their scales. Go ahead. To crack crack that, uh, crack that Geek Talk turtle. I'm going to go ahead and give you this... Uh, give you this Pandora's treasure box and then your monkey board, you don't have enough performance power, so that's also four. Your pendulum scales are pretty much stuck at four, so unless you twin twist through your scales, you're kind of stuck in, uh, you know, wavering eyes is banned, so you can't crack your scales through that means we don't have uh, Harpy's Feather Duster here in the TCG. So, I mean, that's really all I could think of, but, uh, you you know, you have to have no cards in your check. Is that effect good? That that's that's pretty hateful. Cause of course we love to summon level four. You crack your opponent's pendulum scale, put this in their pendulum scale as a four. They can't pendulum summon fours, which is generally what you do when you see Draco pals. What are they pendulum summoning? Fours. You know whether it be the performer pals or the Dracos. There's fours being summoned. So to be able to go ahead and crack one of their scales and put this in their place and be like, ha, you can't summon any more uh, pendulum summon any fours anymore. That's pretty funny. But no cards in your extra deck. So is it you're playing monarchs or you're being really bad? Because I, I don't, I, you know, what to tell you the truth, I don't care what deck you're playing. I don't even care if you're playing fucking Exodia. Have an extra deck. It's a toolbox. It's literally a toolbox. You don't know when situations will pop up where you will want to access those cards. You know, there's been plenty of times where I've lost a duel because I forgot to put a particular card in my toolbox. And, you know, if, you, if your deck, if your deck is really flexible and you're not archetype specific when it comes to uh, your extra deck, then that just leaves, you know, endless possibilities. Like, shit. I'm playing a level 4 deck? Alright, well, here comes Castell, Dweller, Dark Rebellion, Utopia, Utopia the Lightning, Cowboy, Heartland, uh, Rhapsody. Like, like, there's just so many things that you can go ahead and put in your toolbox, and, you know, the situation might pop up, you know? There's been time and time again where I've seen uh, a Two level fours in the field, but not able to close out the duel when their opponent has less than 800 life points because they didn't run Cowboy anymore. And life points don't mean shit as long as they're not at zero. Zero. So that duel easily turned around. They could have ended with a Cowboy, but uh, didn't have Cowboy? All right, that's a damn shame. I'll get another turn, and I'm going to wreck you. I'm going to drop your life points to zero. So oh, if only you had a Cowboy. Heartland, too, you know? Just go ahead and get that 2,000 and for, just chip them out for a game, especially when the pendulum mechanic and your pendulum scale. Like, come on. So, uh... Definitely having no extra deck when it comes to this card it's just kind of, but uh, if you can do it, I, I wouldn't recommend it. Like I said, maybe a side deck card in Monarchs, but outside of that, I just don't see it because you should be running an extra deck in almost everything. So, uh, moving on to the monster effect. Uh, while you have no cards in your extra deck, all right, well, I guess maybe you could pendulum summon, like if that's a thing, but you don't want this card in your scale. Like, I guess you start off a duel with a pen, pendulum-based deck with no extra deck, right? No extra deck, like, what, like, Cleese, I guess? <laughs> like, Cleese, with no extra deck, play it, crack your opponent's pendulum skill. So I guess it could be a side deck card for Cleese. And only, if and only if you get it early enough to where you don't have any monsters in your pendulum zone, you yeah? know? But I guess Cleese are fairly large, so it could be your lower scale, then you can pendulum summon. Right? Because they, they don't become four until they hit the field. Like, they, they summoned regularly, and then they when they hit the field, they become four. So you play this as your lower pendulum scale, pendulum summon. All right, I have no cards in the extra deck, Pandora's box, crack, your scale. Here you go. So I guess this is a, kind of like a side deck card for Cleese. All right. I wouldn't main deck it, of course, because, you know, you don't know if you're going to be facing something pendulum-based or not. So let's get this much effect, though. Uh, while you have no cards in your extra deck, Draw two cards instead of one during your normal draw phase. Uh, 
Yeah, for your normal draw during your draw phase. Okay. But it would have to go full circle because, of course, draw phase is the first thing that you conduct to your, during your turn. Unless you're on DM, which is rep DM, and you know you don't click your different phases, so you'll be like, "Oh, normal summon up." Oh, it's still during my draw phase because I didn't click the button, and then no. But uh, you would have to summon this card, protect it, and when your opponent would read this, they would definitely go after this. There's no way in fun. Never let your opponent draw. Like rule number one, rule number two, Yu-Gi-Oh. This clearly breaks it. Like, hold on, hold on, hold on, nigga. I don't want you to conduct your drawing one card for your draw phase. I'm not gonna let you draw two, so they're obviously they're gonna go after this card. You gotta protect it. You gotta back it up with some background. So, demise, <laughs> demise, please. <laughs> just all right. Well, instead of normal summon and clean, I'll just normal summon this. Set some background. Play my pendulum skills. Do my shenanigans. Card demise. Draw into more cards because card demise should totally remain at three. Set some more cards. Protect this card with all you got, whether it be some strikes or you know your uh, your Darude storming mirror forces or whatever. Protect it, and then during your draw phase, if it survives, go ahead and draw and then draw again. So. Yeah, just, all right. I, I kind of answered my question. Who was this card for? Demise, please. <laughs> that answered my question real quick. So, Monarchs, uh, I don't think Monarchs can use that monster effect. They don't have the, the background to protect this card. Like, not only are they using their normal summon, which, of course, Monarchs, they love their normal summons. They're using their normal summon for this card, but they don't have the card to protect it. Like, I normal summon my Pandora's Treasure Box. If it survives to my next draw phase, I'm going to draw a card. It's 1,500 attack, 1,500 defense, and I can just summon an attack. Like, straight up, unless you can completely prevent me from going, if you got that uh, what big white bitch, Ether, Monarch, Storm Force kind of combo to interrupt me and then make it so this card survives till your next time I phase, but then, like I said, you just missed your normal summon for the last turn, which Monarchs love their normal summon. Cleaves, yeah, it depends, you know. But this, I mean, Monarchs, so I, I definitely say this card's more for nice cleaves. Just a interesting card. It has an interesting pendulum effect. It's an interesting marker effect. It's just that first. Why you have no card in your extra deck, or if you have no card in your extra deck, so like I said, you should pretty much always have an extra deck unless you absolutely, positively, either it restricts your or hampers your play, which of course monarchs if you're playing domain monarchs or Cleese, which. I guess you can have your toolbox, but you really can't special summon any monsters outside of Cleese anyway if your Cleese are in your pendulum scale, so this is generally why you don't see an extra deck. Cosmos, they, they, they can play with no extra deck. I've seen Cosmos, so there you go, there's another deck. You could play Cosmos with no extra deck, even though generally that's another deck where you would like to have your toolbox, but you don't necessarily need it. Side this, go ahead and crack your, your opponent's pendulum scales, because you already know that you're going to summon that Dark Destroy, but they're going to go off with Performal Power. They're obviously going to have plenty of fours to go into that rank four uh, Utopia, to, and then Utopia to Lightning, run over your Dark Destroyer with no effect, and go up to 5,000 beat or so at Rep Dark Destroyer. Go ahead and just crack your opponent's pendulum scale. Here, have this four. Now you're not pendulum summoning any fours, and... I'm, I, and like I said, Cosmos, they run back row, but not that much back row. I mean, maybe if you do, like, Demise Cosmos, you might have enough back row, but, of course, that is your normal summon for this turn, when maybe you want to go ahead and normal summon that Tin Can. So, if... And, of course, it's not a pilot that you can hop out of the way. It's not like, oh, well, uh, I'm going to summon this pilot and then hop out the way for Dark Destroyer. You summon this, hopefully you've got the back row. Maybe you got, like, a Call of the Hunter for Dark Destroyer, Interrupt your opponent's plays, cause mojo, interrupt your opponent's plays, maybe a solemn strike or something. Then get to your draw phase to get that double draw. Like, I, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Alright, I'm done. I'm done looking at this card. So, tell me what you guys think about Pandora's treasure box in the comment section below. I hope that you guys enjoyed this card review. Of course, I will be back next week with some more cards to look at. But thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support. And, uh, yeah, thanks for watching.